Welcome to Bornemann Pants. This is a video tutorial on how to exchange the mechanical seal using the example of an SLH 125. In the first step, we start with the removal of the pump casing. There are markings on the pump casing, on the intermediate flange and on the suction cover. These markings must match during reassembly. The next step is to remove the feed screws. Each time before you start loosening a fastening screw, place a wedge between the feed screws. Place the wedge below the two feed screws for loosening the second fastening screw. After removing the screws, the splinter shaft becomes visible. Pay attention to the notches on the feed screws and on the shaft. If the feed screws are slightly sticky, it can be helpful to place a tire level between feed screws and intermediate flange and exert some pressure or to tap them lightly with a plastic hammer. Remove the form ring. It is provided with a profile on one side so that the ring can be reinserted in one direction only. After having removed the form ring, you can now remove the mechanical seals. In the next step, remove the intermediate flange. For this, Loosen the four fastening screws on the bearing support. Now loosen the intermediate flange from the fastening pins by lightly tapping with the plastic hammer. Pay attention that one hand holds the intermediate flange to prevent it from accidentally falling on the shafts. Remove the sliding surfaces on the atmosphere side. Please note. Single-acting mechanical seals are not provided with rings on the atmosphere side. In this setting you can see the drive pins for the rotating unit on the atmosphere side. Loosen the fastening screw with a 5mm Allen key. The mechanical seal is provided with threaded bores which can be used as dismantling 8 lifting screws. Prior to mounting the new mechanical seal, 
Ensure that the four flushing ports in the intermediate flange are clean and unobstructed. Clean them if necessary. You need the following aids for mounting the new mechanical seals. A 5mm Allen key, foot grade oil, alcohol for cleaning the sliding surface and a bottle of blue Loctite. Apply a drop of foot quality oil to the O-ring and the form ring of the cartridge unit and rub the oil on the rings. Place the unit left or right into the intermediate flange. Both directions are possible. Press the unit over the O-rings and correct the position if necessary. Coat each fastening screw with a drop of blue Loctite before putting them into place. Clean the sliding surfaces with alcohol and a lint-free cloth. Insert the sliding surfaces. These include supporting ring, o-ring and the rotating unit. Insert the support ring first and then the o-ring. Note that, as mentioned before, this step is not applicable in the case of single acting mechanical seals. Apply a small amount of foot quality oil to the back of the o-ring socket. Insert the rotating unit in such a way that the recesses on both sides fit on the corresponding drive pins. Slide the rotating unit over the O-ring with light pressure. Repeat these steps on the other side and clean the area with alcohol afterwards. Reinsert the intermediate flange carefully and cautiously. Pay attention to the position of the centering pins. Clean the sliding surfaces with alcohol first. Insert the mechanical seal. Check the spring action of the mechanical seals at this point.
Place the O-ring between feed screw and mechanical seal. Reinfill the form ring into the intermediate flange. As already mentioned, only one mounting position is possible. New form ring may have to be pre-stretched a little. When inserting the feed screws, ensure that the notches on the feed screws match with the notches on the shafts. Place the form ring on the tightening screw for bracing the feed screws. Secure the thread by applying a drop of blue Loctite and insert it in the clamping element. In the next step, check the backlash of the feed screws. Use a feeler gauge as an aid. The backlash in this example is between 0.1 and 0.2 mm. However, this may differ according to the sizes. It is important that the feed screws run smoothly without touching each other. Pay attention to the markings, as already mentioned, so that the pump casing is inserted in the correct position. Finally, rotate the drive shaft to check whether the feed screws can be turned easily. Thank you very much for your attention.